Hello, this is Pastor Roland. It's New Year's Eve, and here I am making a little video. First, what I want to do is say hello to my new radio stations, WNVY in Pensacola, Florida, and KMET in Palm Springs, California. Welcome all of my listeners in Pensacola, Florida, and Palm Springs, California. Now, I want to say something about uh, the new year. I strongly feel that we have been given a little extra time by the good Lord, a little extra time, a reprieve. Now, how much a little extra time that is, I don't know. They say that a thousand years is like a day for the Lord. But on the other hand, many of us feel that uh, events are occurring and issues are arising that make it seem like we may be getting close to uh, um, something that will really evidence the unfoldment of God's plan, the unfolding of God's plan in history. So how can we make good use of this uh, new year? Well, I would like to recommend a couple of things. First of all, I would like to recommend that you try one of my meditations to help you with stress. Right now you are all stressed out and um, you're very reactive to things on the outside. And when we're all stressed out, and we're reacting to things on the outside, it's, it's hard to be thoughtful. And it pulls you away from objectivity. I'll give you an easy example, an extreme example, but an easy one to help you understand why you need to be able to pull back from your emotions, pull back from your thoughts, pull back from your reactions and your upsets and your angers and your excitements. Okay? Here's an example. When if a person is very sick, very, very ill, and they have a fever, and they become delirious, and they're laying in bed lost in their fever, lost in delirium, see, lost in the awful, awful, terrible feelings, it's very difficult to uh, focus on things, to thoughtfully consider things. See, very difficult. And it's difficult to pray, too. Have you noticed? Very difficult. So what you need is to get a little closer to God. And the way you do that is by getting out of your thoughts. Get a little closer to God by getting out of your emotions. Okay? My meditation will help you very much with that. So, have I made my point? Um, when you're lost in feelings, when you're lost in thoughts, daydreams, planning and scheming for the future, worrying, reliving the past. You're farther away from God. You are literally farther away from God. And so if you want to get closer to God, then you need to be able to stand back from those thoughts which pull you into them. See, they suck you in, don't they? They pull you in. They draw you in. Whether they're positive, you know, um, uh, fantasies, or whether they're dark and negative and worry thoughts. It says in the Bible, all that is not, the, not of faith is sin. We're told to pray unceasingly. So how can you be, how can you have faith when you're worried? <laughs> you see? They're opposites. How can you have faith when you, if you're lost in worry? which is the opposite of faith. See? Well, there actually is a way. Okay? There's a very special, magical way where you can actually sort of be lost in worry, but not lost in worry. You know how? It's by using the meditation so you can learn to stand back and be objective. And so then, when you catch, when you are, catch yourself being lost in worry, 
you stand back and observe the worry thoughts without being lost in them. So now you're the observer of the worry thoughts. See what I mean? Most of our thoughts are not your own. Your thoughts are not your own anyway. And that voice that talks to you down there from the subconscious mind, that's the serpent of old. You think it's you. It tells you everything you want to hear. It tells you that you're wonderful and it tells you all the wrong things and encourages you to, to take risks and chances and all the wrong things. When your life is all messed up, see, then it torments you. It tells you that you're no good and you know, all that kind of stuff. It's the same old games, like good guy, bad guy routine. And it plays it over and over, and we're very vulnerable to it because, first of all, we have big egos. Okay? And the second reason that we're vulnerable to it is because you don't, you're not objective to it. You're not standing back and observing what's going on because you're too lost in it. Okay? And the third reason is nobody's ever shown you the way to stand back from negative thoughts. But I, I will. I have. I am. Stand back. Okay? And the meditation helps you to stand back. So please give it a try. Get the new year off to a good start. And listen to my program. And of course, um, if you can't listen to my program when it's on, which I'm on 7 a.m. in Palm Springs. And I'm on 9 a.m. Monday morning drive time in Pensacola, Florida. Okay? If you can't listen at those times or you live somewhere else or you're somewhere else in the world, you can always get my programs at our archives. All my programs are archived. So, Happy New Year. This is Pastor Rowan.